here's the finished product. Um, I had to wrap the bottom sleeve of the tent underneath the bumper. Um, the setup video is not real clear there. In one point they show it that way. On another point they, they show it going farther back. But on this um, 22 uh, Honda Pilot Trail Sport, um, this is the only way I could get it. There is one point on the um, fender well that you can put these clips, but um, it's not the best, but it, it will hook up there and you don't have to put a lot of tension on these clips. Um, you're just trying to hold it so that um, it'll keep the bugs out. But for the other strap, I did have to put a um, bungee cord through the wheel to give me a tie point because um, on the Honda Pilot here, there are the wheel wells don't let you use the clips that um, are included because the clip is uh, real narrow and uh, is made to hook on a, like a metal fender. The um, I fully expect it to leak some when it rains because as water falls on the roof of the pilot, um, it will flow back in there and it'll come inside, I imagine. Um, I did use a, a, a tarp underneath, uh, picked up at Harbor Freight. Um, it's seven foot something by nine foot. Um, that way it, it doesn't stick out on the sides of the tent. If it were to rain, the water would go onto the ground rather than onto the tarp and then back underneath the tent. Um, if it was to rain, we would roll up this little porch that we've got set up there and tuck it underneath the tent. Going inside. Um, the tent is roomy. It's an eight by eight. Um, this is the Costco set, which came with the mattress and the tent as a, as a kit. Um, the mattress fits perfectly in the back of this uh, Honda Pilot. The, um, the straps, these orange straps on the back, the two on the sides, there's great tie down points inside the, uh, the Pilot to hook those two. But with the bottom skirt so far underneath the car, um, the best place I could hook the center strap up was to our hitch point. The, and going back to what I was talking about with, the, with it leaking probably, water would probably come off the roof, drip onto this area here, which is normal for when you have the hatch open and then it'll trail down the sides and the only place where it could go is inside the tent. How much water will come down all depends, I guess, on how much it rains, but um, that's going to be probably the only downfall. We don't expect to use this for ourselves with a lot of rain. Uh, the, the tent does come with a rain fly. Um, they can be put on it for, and the, the videos that I've seen on this tent, it, it does not leak other than around the hatch area here. Um, you can see there are a little bit of a gap where some bugs could come in around the sides, but it's not significant. So they'll have to find their way in, which I'm sure they probably will, but um, it won't be horrible. Um, for our intended use for this, I think it'll, it'll work out just great. Um, we're going to test it out here in the yard tonight just to see uh, how the mattress sleeps. And uh, if, all th if things go bad, we can um, just bail out and go to the house. Thanks.